In this video, I will show you how to build APK file for your Flutter app project. APK stands for Android Package Kit. It's the file format that Android operating system uses to distribute and install apps. As a result, an APK is an archive file that you needed to upload to Play Store so that user can install your application correctly on their device. Now I will guide you through step-by-step -step on configuration and generation of APK file on your Flutter project. Let's start with the configuration. Firstly, we have to generate a key store file where it contains a cryptographic key to sign the APK file. This key is used to ensure authenticity and integrity of the Android application, something like a digital signature for application. So to generate the key store file, we have to use the following key tool command. This command contains multiple configuration such as generated file called upload-keystore.jks and the key algorithm used is RSA. The key size is 2048 bits. The key is valid for 10,000 days and most importantly, this key entry is given an ally's name called Upload. You can customize the configuration of the key according to your needs. Next, when we press enter, we are required to provide a key store password. As a security measure, when you type your password, it will not show. Once you finish, press enter and it will ask you to re-enter the same password again without showing your password. Once finished, press enter and it will ask you 5 questions. For tutorial purposes, I will fill in a sample answer for just one question and the other answers are optional. If you don't feel like providing the information, just press enter. Lastly, it will ask if the information provided is correct. If you wish to change the answer, input no. So here I will input yes to proceed. Now it stated that it has generated a 2048 bits RSA key pair with a validity of 10,000 days according to the information provided. Next is to provide a key password for the key entry. So here I will set it same as key store password by pressing enter. If you wish to use a different password, Make sure you don't confuse the password between key store and key password. Now, once I press enter, you can see that a new file called upload-keystore.jks is generated in my project root directory. Since this key is used for signing Android app, I will move this generated key store file into Android slash app directory. Next, in Android folder, create a file called key.properties. In this file, we will create some variables to hold the password value so that we just have to reference to the variable rather than passing the value all around. So first variable is store password equal to the password value. This password value is the password that we enter with the security measure just now. Next is the key password. Key password is the password that I selected to be the same as key store password just now. If you provided a different password just now, make sure you set them correctly here. Next is the unique name for key allies. In the command that we use to generate the key, at the last part, I have provided a unique name called upload for the key allies. If you provided a different name, make sure you update here too. Lastly, is the store file name. Now we have completed the setup for signing key. Next, we have to configure in our Flutter project. So open your app level build.grader file. Make sure it's the file inside Android slash app directory, not the outside one. Scroll down and look for Android. So before Android configuration, add the following configuration. Firstly, 
define a properties and read the key dot properties file using root project dot file. Next, check if the file exists, load the file. Next, inside Android configuration, look for signing configs. By default, you should have a configuration for debug mode. Now I will add a new configuration for release mode. In the release mode configuration, reference the signing variables to the key properties value. Make sure the variable name is precise without typo as it will cause error during app signing. Once this is done, we have to add the signing config for release build in the build type configuration below. To do this, we just have to reference the release signing configs to the signing configs variable in the build type. Once this is also done, we have completed all the configuration needed for generating APK file. Before we generate the APK file, make sure you run Flutter clean as we have modified content in build.grader file. So to generate APK in Flutter, we have to run Flutter build APK command. Alright, so we run into some error. Let's check what's wrong with our configuration. So here we are using same variable name which causes the error. Let me change it to a different variable name. Now let's clean the project and build APK again. So we run into another error again. And this time it's a typo error in build types configuration where I added an additional S for signing config variable. Let me remove the additional character. Now let's clean and build the APK again.
So as you can see, the APK is successfully generated and located in the provided location path. Now let's open the APK path location by going into the Flutter project, build folder, slash app, slash output, slash Flutter dash APK. And here is the generated APK file. This is the file you needed to upload to Play Store. So now when I drag this APK file into my Android emulator, it will automatically install the application. Now my Flutter application is installed and I can open the application successfully. Conclusion, this is how you build APK file in Flutter. If you have any question or facing any errors, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.